say you're not. Why are you sorry for me? Oh, you stopped music and everything. I was Why are you sorry for me? Because I'm you said. No to you. So I'm sorry to you. Do you know I'm sorry for you? I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for you. I am I'm sorry, sorry for you. I'm not. I'm not sorry for me if that helps. Why? Because I like being me. You like being you. Do you think if death could seize you because you could die any time, do you think you'll make it to heaven? Have yeah. you been good enough to make it to heaven? For sure. I have. Have you? My dad is an evangelical Christian. I'm for sure going to heaven. <laughs> because your nan is an evangelical Christian. Yeah, God loves me. I know he does. I know he does too. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation exactly. if God do doesn't love you. Do you think I'm going to heaven? Pardon? Do you not think I'm going to heaven? I'm very skeptical when people tell me they're going to heaven. I so am. I tend are to ask them. Going? I'm sure I am going. So I'll see you there. So, okay. How sure are you I'm going to see you there? 100%. How why? sure are you that you're going to be there? A billion percent. But why? My question is why you're sure you're going there? Because I believe I've been a good person and God sees that. I'm so sorry. I'll tell you why I say I'm so sorry. God, tell me. Because you said because you've been a good person. I can prove to you with five questions you haven't before the court of law of God. Okay. Shall I try? Go for it. I'll ask five questions. All I need from you is honesty. Okay, yeah. All right. Have you ever told a lie in your life before? Yes. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? Yeah. Have you ever used God's name in vain like OMG? Have you ever taken something from someone or somewhere irrespective of his value without permission? No, I have not. Pen, pencil, rubber, ruler, oh, sweet, maybe. anything, even if it was very small. Perhaps. Perhaps in your young age. And the last question I'm going to ask is, have you ever looked with lust? Oh, you know what I mean Definitely. by that, or sex before marriage, things like that. Now, what you have told me is this. Have you not done any of those things? Actually, I've broken more than that. You too. You too. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm going to heaven. Okay. Why you said you? you're sure you're going to heaven because you're a good person. Yeah. Which means you're still hanging, hanging on on your good works to get you there. Yeah. And there's no good works that gets us there. And I'll tell you now in a minute. But by your own admittance, you have told me, like the rest of us, You've been a lying, thieving, <laughs> blasphemous, yeah. adulterous, and disobedient. Yes. And if God is to judge you by the Ten Commandments, you just looked at five of them, do you think he's going to find you innocent or guilty? Well, I guess guilty. Guilty like the rest of us again. Heaven or hell? I so you're going to make me say hell, but I... No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna make, I'm not going to make you... I like to believe heaven. Okay, I'll say we are not saved by works. I'll say that we are not saved by good deeds. So if you're not saved by good deeds, how are you going to make it to heaven when you're guilty? Remember, heaven is perfect, you are not. And no, no imperfect people are going to make it to heaven. So I'll tell you how to get to heaven, alright? It's a very, very simple thing that even a child this young could understand and believe. Number one, repent of your sins. Mm -hmm. Repentance means change of mind and change of attitude. So if you change your mind, it will go deep down inside your heart and this is going to do something in there that will cause you not to want to lie, not to want to steal, not to want to disobey your parents, ATC. That's the repentance, all right? It changes the mind and the heart. Yeah. And then put your trust in Jesus. Right now, I'll tell you what you're hanging on to get you to heaven. It's like you're in a, in a plane, 10,000 feet up, and the plane is about to crash. And you said, you know what? I know I'm gonna jump from this plane and land on the ground safely without a parachute. <laughs> And I'm trying to beg with you and tell you, you know, you need a parachute. And that parachute is Jesus. You are saying, I'm going to flap my arms like a bird. And I'm going to get to heaven. And I'm telling you, no, don't flap your arms. Trust the parachute. That parachute in that context is Jesus Christ. So put your trust wholeheartedly in Jesus Christ, believing that he died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead. And repentance and trust in Jesus will get you to heaven. Not our good works, not our good deeds. Now, do you get why I, I thought you might be going down there when you think you might be going up there? Mm -hmm. Are you going to think about this conversation? Yeah. Please do. It's very serious. I don't know you, but I love you. Okay. I care about you. I know you have a soul in there, and I don't want that soul to go to hell. Now, I'm going to go on again and give you that one, because it says, are you a good person? <laughs> now, do you see why you need that? Yes. Can I give you an extra gift now, because you listen to me? Of course you can. Guess who loves you? Jesus. Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm going to give you that. Thank you. Every message that I've explained to you is on the second page. If you okay. want to go through it again. And if you want to put your trust in Jesus, please do it as soon as you can. Yeah. Don't trust in your own good works, all right? Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. 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 May I please? It's a good read. You're going to enjoy it. May I give you an well, sir? Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, both of you. Bye.